guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome, make sure you hit that subscribe button. In today's video, we're going to be doing a foundation declutter because Lord knows I need to. So yeah, I have so many foundations. I Some of them are really old, some of them I don't like or wear anymore and I've just got too many to choose from. So yeah, I really need to cull some of them and just get rid of maybe just a handful, just get rid of some of the really old ones that I'm too, too scared to use because I don't even know how old they are. So yeah. Let's get into it. This is the drawer where I keep all of my foundations and primers. So today we're going to have to sort through these foundations because I have way too many and I don't give them enough love. And I want to <laughs> narrow it down to an amount where I've still got a lot of options, but actually stop ignoring some of the foundation I, I have and actually give everything, you know, a decent try. Because there's so many in here where I haven't given them a fair shot because there's always something new so I really want to you know cut back some of the expired stuff so everything I have is you know given a fair shot and get rid of some of the stuff that's really old and the primers I don't think are super out of control so we will leave those for another day but definitely these foundations they need to at least get rid of what's expired so yeah let's get into it okay so we definitely have a lot more foundations than I realized yeah, it's quite a lot, quite confronting. But yeah, let's cull out a bunch of expired stuff. Um, I'm not going to throw anything out that's not expired or that I don't believe it to be expired just because that's wasteful and I still want to give things a fair shot. But yeah, definitely a lot when it's all laid out like that. So yeah, let's get started. The first one we have here is this L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. I think this is expired. Like, it's pretty like solid and spongy in there so I'm gonna say that that's expired so goodbye old friend this one is definitely expired I have had this since like early 2000s like not 2000s but like I've had this since like I'd probably say 2012 2011 something like that like you know a good decade ago so this really needs to go this one I absolutely adore so I'll be definitely keeping that one same with this one. I really love it. It's really nice um, and I really want to keep it because I've been really loving it lately. This one is like pretty brand new to me. I've only had it for a few months now so I would definitely be keeping this one. This one I really like but I don't seem to get like much use out of. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. So yeah, I really want to give this a bit more love so hoping that you know if I cull my collection a little bit I will have more of a reason to use this one. This one is pretty new to me as well. However, the expiration says um, February 2022 and I'm filming this at the end of March. So I'm pretty disappointed that this expired so quickly after purchasing it. So I'm going to keep it because I don't think there's anything wrong with it at the moment. But I will be keeping an eye on it. I'll be keeping a close eye on it because I'm so disappointed that something that this expensive expired so soon after purchase so that is really disappointing so I'm going to keep like testing it out and like keeping an eye on it as soon as I notice a difference in color or formulation or scent or anything like that I'll get rid of it then but yeah that's just so disappointing that it would expire so quickly this one's not quite a foundation so <laughs> I don't know why it's in here I'll probably put it back with the primers but yeah, definitely not getting rid of this. This is super old. I'll have to get rid of this one. This would again be like a decade like sitting in my drawer. So uh, I unfortunately have to say goodbye to my poor friend Steeler. But yeah, it was nice knowing you. This Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation is probably my new favorite. I have been loving this to death lately. Probably the reason why some of the others haven't been getting as much attention. But yeah, this stuff, the Luminous foundation is amazing. Trust me, you have to go get it. This hasn't been getting super much love, like a lot of love at all because it's like the wrong shade. It's a little bit too dark for me. Um, I think I got it in a Bella box, but I'm going to keep it anyway, just because in case I do need a darker shade, it is always good to have a few options. Like if in summer, if I've been in the sun a little bit, it's kind of good to just have darker shades as kind of like a backup. Um, you don't want to get stuck with only having powerful shades and nothing like match you. So it's good to just have something on standby should I need it. 
Now this is super expired and has to go. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. But like the original, like not the Matte and Poreless or, or the Dewy and Smooth. This is like the original, original, like a decade old original. So this like really has to go. This is so old. Now this one I absolutely adore and I don't really want to throw away, but it has an expiry date on it and it expired, um, it expired August of 19, so 2019. It's still fine. It still smells fine. Like there's nothing wrong with it. It hasn't changed. It's still a beautiful foundation, but considering it's 2022 and this label says it expired in 2019, I have to throw this away. Like I can't knowingly put this on my skin that it's three years past expiry, even though the formula still seems perfectly fine. I'm just going to have to say goodbye to it. I have loved you, Infallible Pro Glow, but it's time to go. I'm so sorry. Um, kisses. Thank you so much. But, yeah, three years past, like, a, a written expiry. Yeah, it's got to go. This uh, Nude by Nature um, BB Cream, I think it's a little dark for me. It is the third shade. I would probably need the lightest. But, again, as I said with the other one, it's good to have some options even if they are a, a slightly different shades um just to you know have some options should your skin color kind of fade or darken over seasons so yeah i'll keep that one for now and see how i go with it now this one is pretty old but like not like those ones kind of old but this is the nars sheer matte foundation and i know what you're thinking sheer matte when has that ever existed um a long time ago However, because I have dry skin and most of my foundations are dewy, uh, it's good to have like, an option, like if I was to have an oily or a sweaty day, to have a matte foundation. So I'm going to keep it for now, but it's definitely going to be something that I plan to get rid of sooner rather than later. I was hoping to replace it with the Sheer Glow Foundation, um, but we'll see. But I, I'm holding on to this knowing that it's not going to be staying in my collection for very long. But I kind of just want to give it another go before getting rid of it because it is not exactly a cheap drugstore foundation. This is NARS. So, yeah, I really want to give this a bit more of a shot before I um, toss it out. Just got a little um, Dior sample. I think it's a little bit dark for me, but I'm going to keep it nonetheless because it's Dior. Sorry, I'm that girl. This one is um, a little bit newer to me. I think I've only gotten it in the last year or so. This is a Nude by Nature foundation, the Flawless Liquid Foundation. So I'm going to keep it for now and hopefully get some use out of it. This is another one that has to go. This is the Super CC Cream from Chi Chi. This is super old. Like I couldn't even pump anything out of it the last time I went to use it. So, yeah, this has to go. Uh, it's been nice knowing you. Um, it's been a great foundation, but, yeah, it's time to say goodbye to this one. Now, I've got these two Wet n Wild foundations, the Photo Focus. We've got the Dewy and the Regular. I haven't not given these much love. Like, I, do, I bought the original one first and then the Dewy. I still just haven't given them a chance to actually figure out whether or not I even like them because I just have – I've only used them a handful of times – and just not really like take a note of like how it wore and things like that. So I'm going to keep them both a little bit longer. I I can predict that I'm going to keep the dewy and get rid of the normal one. But um, we'll see. I don't want to just make that assumption without giving them, you know, a proper shot. So I'm going to keep them for a little while longer. But yeah, I think they are like, especially the original is earring on the older side. So yeah, I'll keep them for now, but we'll see how we go. This one I'm definitely going to keep is a beautiful foundation. Absolutely amazing. If you are near a DB stand, I'd go get that one straight away. This Marc Jacobs one I have a little bit bitter about, so I'm going to keep it um, because it's super expensive. But I definitely bought a shade that's too dark for me. Um, the Sephora website that like matches your shade matched me for this shade. And it was completely wrong. It's way too peachy, way too orange. Like it's just way too dark for me in general. Um, the color through the glass is not as accurate as what it is inside the bottle. Um, but when I ordered it, the Sephora site matched me to the lightest shade that they had in stock rather than the shade that would actually um, fit me. So if you're going to use those um, shade matching um, 
like formulas on Sephora and Mecca and stuff, be very careful because they might not match you to what your true shade is, but rather the shade closest to what it is that's actually in stock in the hopes that you'll make the purchase. And that is what happened to me. And this is like a $90 foundation. So the fact that I should have gotten like three shades lighter than this, but because it wasn't in stock, Sephora offered me the closest shade in stock. So I would make the purchase and that's what happened. And I'm pretty bitter about it, but I'm going to keep it because of how expensive it is. And maybe I will, you know, use it should I become a bit more tan or if I can lighten it up a little bit. But yeah, it's it's too painful for me to throw away. I, I, I got to hold on to it for a little bit longer. Now, the original Shape Tape Foundation from Tarte, I know it's a little bit controversial this foundation because of the shade range and the launch and everything that happened with it. Um, but as you saw in my first impressions video that I made on this foundation, I really like the foundation and I don't want to throw it away just because of the um, controversy around it. I'm not, Granted, I'm not going to purchase it again, but I don't want to be wasteful and throw away an expensive foundation all because of a controversy when I actually do like it. Yeah, the shade is probably slightly dark for me but it's not anything that I can't get away with and I'm not going to throw it away just because of controversy yes I agree with the controversy but it's not good enough reason to be wasteful and to be throwing things away that are perfectly good this one is one that definitely has to go I absolutely loved this for so long it's a really great product um and it's not of the fault of the product but it's just so old it is so so old like this has to be a decade old at this point. So yeah, it's really got to go, but it's a great product. Um, I haven't given this one much love. As you can tell, it's pretty dark and I think it's like the lighter shade. It's fair. This does not look fair. This looks like a medium. I will keep it and see how I go, but I can predict that this will likely be something I would get rid of next time I kind of do something like this. But yeah, I, I don't want to throw it away just yet. Maybe give it uh, another year, see how I go, and then get rid of it then. Alrighty, let's condense this down a little bit. This one, <laughs> this did not work. I did it for a does it work video. Does not work, I can tell you now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get rid of this because I did it for the video and it didn't work. I wish it did, but... Oh well. This one is one of my favourites from the drugstore. I absolutely love it and I will not be getting rid of this anytime soon. Absolutely adore it. Same with this one. I absolutely love this foundation. It's extremely dewy. Like extremely wet on the skin. If um, that's something you like, I would definitely go for it. But yeah, I'm keeping this one for sure. It's really nice. This I will definitely be getting rid of. I did a first impression of it and it was disgusting. So I will not be using this again. This will be going in the bin. Now this one is super old, like super, super old, at least a decade old. Like it's got to go. Like when is the last time you saw someone talking about this online? I know, right? It's got to go. Now this I have not really given a lot of love just because of how much stuff I've got. So I really want to um, put this back into the collection and see if I get to using it or not. So yeah, let's see if I use this one. This has been one of my absolute favorites over the years. This is always what I travel with. I absolutely loved it. This is always my go-to travel foundation because of the, like it's like not glass, it's cheap, so I wouldn't care if I lost it. And it's an, also a really nice formula and great color match for me as well. But it is super old and I, it's so light. Like there's barely anything left in it. So yeah, it's really got to go. I probably won't get it again just because of how much stuff I have. But if you're looking for something cheap and good quality, I would definitely give this a go. It's really nice. This one is going to be hard to get rid of because of how lovely it is. But I've just got so many foundations and I really like this. So I, I might get it again in the future, but I feel like it's probably expired. Yeah, but it's really nice and I really like it. Um, I just... it's it's likely to be expired. So maybe I'll keep it actually, give it one last shot and test out the formula and it'll most likely go in the bin after that. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep it just to test it but then, and then make a decision. But it's 99% charge, it will go in the bin. But I will keep it just to give it that one last go, just to test if it's expired or not. Now this, I have one that I have used to death and then I have a backup I know it's super old, but I'm going to get rid of the one that's like half empty and keep the um, unopened one. Um, but yeah, it's probably even the unopened one is probably expired, but I'm going to still give it a chance. So I will keep the new one and get rid of the old one. 
Now these are color changing drops. I will keep these uh, just because I've got a handful of darker foundations that do need lightening up. So I will keep these. This super old really needs to go. As you can see, they have changed the packaging multiple times since I had this. This is probably a decade old. It's got to go. This I haven't really tried much. So it's like a stick foundation. Um, I have usually use liquids as you can see. So I'll keep this just to, you know, actually try and use it. But I don't know if I will keep it for very long. This one... I think it might be really old, but I remember it being really good. So I'm going to keep it just like I did with this one here and just see if I use it and see if the formula has changed and make a decision after giving it a go. But it is 99% chance going to go in the bin because I think it might be pretty old. And last but not least, I will be keeping this one. It is not that old. I think it's only a year or two old. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give this one a go, um, again and see if I like it. And it's definitely a much better shade match compared to the other Maybelline one that I kept. So yeah, that is what I'm going to be keeping. So this is everything I am keeping. It's still a lot of foundations, but yeah, definitely a big variety of price ranges and formulas and shades. So yeah, I think I'm, I've made a pretty good decision in what I'm keeping. And this is everything I'm getting rid of. There is definitely, it is pretty much all drugstore, except for this one. But yeah, they are all super old and expired or doesn't work for me, things like that. So yeah, those have got to go in the bin. See you later. And there we go. There's everything back in the drawer. There's definitely a lot neater. There's even room to grow. So that's great. It's definitely going to make choosing a foundation a lot more easier and give some things that haven't been used in a while a little bit of love. So yeah, I would call that a success. So you guys, that is the end of my foundation declutter. Let me know in the comments what you think of what I got rid of. And yeah, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.